like if the past two weeks was this theme song for me this is it i don't even know what the hell i'm talking about i'm high right now this is my second hit i think but yeah if uncle ruckus's theme song was man that's me every single day I just can't stand y'all, bro. Y'all, like, do too much. You negroes and niggers and niggas and niggas niggin' and... Damn! Sometimes we just need to go back to how it was back in the olden days. You guys take that how you think. <laughs> how far back y'all ever want to go back? I'm talking about Adam and Eve and BCE and... Before Christ, B.C. and before B.C.E. <laughs> the Homo Sapiens and the Homo Sapiens Sapiens. We got the Boondocks, a day with the health inspector. Let's get straight to it. Let's go. Oh, and if you don't know, we are hitting some um Pineapple Express or Strawberry Cough. It's one of those. I, f I forget. I think it's Pineapple Express. But yeah, I like it, man. Yeah, I'm y'all like smiling and stuff. Even though I'm always like cheesing and stuff. Go ahead and take y'all here. You say smart that likes to dark so that you can know your left from your right. I am the ballad in your box, the bullet in the gun. Let it glow and let you know to call your brother son. The story that just begun, the promise of what's to come. And I'm gonna remain a soldier till the war is won. Scarface. <laughs> Pause everything on this. That's me. Y'all in the comments saying that's me. <laughs> oh, that's tough. <laughs> that's tough. That's what this is when the blur starts because this is the uncensored version, so I gotta blur it. Now pick up the soap. I'm Nick. Drop the soap again. Tom Dubois' greatest fear was being sent to prison and anally raped. At the tender age of 10, Tom saw a prison movie which depicted the violent anal raping of a man. Before then, <laughs> men got raped in prison. <laughs> I'm sorry, but listen back. Listen back. I don't know if I'm Vader or not, but listen back. He said, listen to the TV. He said, loosen up, bitch, or open up, bitch, one of those. Tender age of 10, Tom saw a prison movie which depicted the violent anal raping of a man. Before then, he didn't know the men got raped in prison. <laughs> It is true that statistically speaking, if a man is to be raped, it'll most likely occur in prison. That's that tough. fact scares straight laced Tom even straighter. Let's steal some. But what if we get caught? We'll get arrested and anally raped. Hey guys, what are you doing? Just smoking a joint. You want a hit? Yeah, right. You guys can go to jail and get anally raped if you want. Tom, did you erase all my MP3s? Hey, file sharing is a crime. And I'm not going to be anally raped so you can listen to Usher. You know, Tom, this whole anal rape thing is really causing both of us to miss out on a lot in life. But Tom didn't care what he was missing out on. I used to pirate music. Well into adulthood, <laughs> Tom still lived his life around the fear of anal rape. That fear, perhaps more than any other factor, made him the man he is today. Tom believed in order. 
order. He obeyed every traffic law. He had never as much as broken the speed limit. You drive like an old bitch! Tom grew up to be a criminal prosecutor, which ironically enough meant his job was to send many black men to the very fate he most feared. For the crime of selling four bootleg copies of Soul Plane, the defendant is sentenced to two weeks imprisonment. He'll be remanded. No! Don't send me to prison, please! <laughs> please don't send me to prison! I don't That's want to gonna be me. And don't, cause I'm him fighting, bro. That man didn't have to do much to go to prison. You have the right to remain silent. Sometimes he didn't have to do anything at all. You in a court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney. That's like GTA. During any questioning. GTA San Andreas. City police are reporting tonight that they have arrested a suspect in connection with the murder of Antoine Michaels, a 17-year-old who was apparently killed over a game of Madden 2006. The police are not releasing the name of the suspect, who is a black male, approximately blah, blah, blah. And so, we're raising the terror alert level to intense orange-red, based on very credible, detailed information on a non-specific threat. Could it be a hijacking? Absolutely possible. Chemical or biological agent? You bet it could happen. Suicide bomber? Hey, you never know. But what we do know is that it's absolutely, positively gonna happen today. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe gonna happen today. Terrorists have my daddy! Jasmine, calm down. In Algeria. Daddy was supposed to be home from work before <laughs> Fuck is Algeria. And he isn't here. And we're at terror alert level orange. Orange. Guys, there's got to be some kind of mistake. I didn't do anything. Oh, we know what you did. You guys were playing your little game. And your friend was serving up some piping hot ass whooping, wasn't he? <laughs> Playing 2K or Madden, getting whooped. From work doesn't mean it. Hello, Riley. Is that you? Put your brother on. It's an emergency. What's the emergency? I'm in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drop the soap. Who's that? Riley's so cold. Yeah. Riley, it's Tom. I thought you only get one phone call from jail. Who's this? Huey, I got arrested. They say I fit the description. I think it's because I'm black, Huey. I think it sounds like a slave. Why? <laughs> you don't want to know what they'll do to me in jail. I always thought, like, why he sound like a slave whenever he said that? From jail. <laughs> Who's this? Huey, I got arrested. They say Where I fit have the description. <laughs> I think it's because I'm black, Huey. I think it's because You have to get me out of here, Huey. You don't want to know what they'll do to me in jail. Oh, they'll rape you. They'll rape you. That's what they're going to do. But you're not in jail. You're in holding. And I don't think people usually get raped in holding. Hold on. Granddad, do people get raped in holding? <laughs> stop, stop, stop. I don't want your granddad to know. I don't want anybody to know. Listen, they can't keep people in holding over the weekend. At 9 o'clock tonight, they're going to put me on a bus and send me to real jail. Real jail. Earliest I could get out would be on Monday. Well, it's just a weekend. They don't let <laughs> get anally raped. <laughs> Huey, the only way for me to get out of here is if you find the real killer tonight. The real killer? Nigga, I'm 10. How am I going to find the real killer? <laughs> Please. You've got to try. All right, all right, all right. Damn. Thank you, Huey. Whatever you do, don't tell my baby Jasmine. I don't want her to know her daddy was somebody's bitch. That's tough. Was that daddy? Where is he? Is he okay? <laughs> was he kidnapped by terrorists? Um, your father wants you to know he's nobody's bitch. <laughs> Code cross the board. Huey will let you know how it really is. I had exactly five hours to find a murderer, and I couldn't do it alone. Ed the Third was heir to the Wensler fortune. 
and a drunken This is how some of y'all rooms look. This is how some of you Terrace's rooms look like, bro. And one thing Ed the Third had was firepower. Fuck it. I say we go get the motherfucker. Let's go. Where are we going? Oh, we gonna need to holler at my man. Remy. Oh, snap. Ed wants letter third. My man, Jen Remy. What's good, baby? It's all good, man. I was just making some breakfast. Come on in. Sounds like you got yourself a fugitive of justice. I say y'all came to the right ombre. Look, we have exactly four hours and 45 minutes to find the Xbox killer. Can you help us do it? I'd be dead on his ass like Spencer for fucking hire. I hunt him down and feed him his own testicles, and I do it in a jiffy. And I don't care if it's mama the ass, grandmama, innocent bystanders, little kids, baby sitters, <laughs> collectors, whatever. I leave his whole block filled with hot brass if I have to. And you know why? Because I just don't give a fuck. Sound like Tupac. Y'all sure you don't want no breakfast? I got English muffins and peach jelly. See, I told you my boy was gangster. Hey man, put some links with some grits, Remy. Shit, I'm hungry as a motherfucker. <laughs> oh, them nuts. Nigga. <laughs> You liar! Smack you like killed him, bitch. didn't you, you sick bastard? Hey, hey, hey that's yeah. enough! Ah. Go cool off! All right. Now! Ah, you <laughs> punk! <laughs> Three! Boom. Got him shook in. Why are you doing this to me? You know what this is, man? It's fucking racism, man. <laughs> You were at the wrong place at the wrong time, and you just happened to fit the description. Now, if you admit you killed him... I ain't killed kill nobody. Anyone. Look, even if you didn't kill him, just admit that you killed him. I promise you, you won't go to jail. Smack on the wrist. I promise you. <laughs> Wait, stop. You can't be serious. I'm a prosecutor. I'm never going to fall for this. He fell for it. <laughs> so you say that if I confess, <laughs> I won't go to jail? I give you my, my word. <laughs> no ain't no rape? No, no ain't, ain't no rape. rape. <laughs> so y'all was in Iraq together? Yeah, we was in Iraq. Rack. What did you do? We was looking for weapons of mass, mass destruction. destruction. Did you ever find him? You know goddamn well we ain't find him. What are you, some kind of political humorist? You can't do that up in this bitch? <laughs> I was looking Look for, for bitches. bitches. But they had their carpet shit all over them, and I couldn't <laughs> see what they looked like. All that was really exposed was the eyes, and that wasn't enough for me, because, you know, shit, I'm looking at the eyes. The eyes can be pretty, and I take that carpet off, and then I got a tragedy. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, no, we ain't fine. But I always say the, the absence, absence of evidence, evidence is not the evidence, evidence of absence. absence. What? Simply because you don't have evidence that something does exist does not mean that you have evidence that something doesn't, doesn't exist. exist. What? What country are you from? What? <laughs> what ain't no country I ever heard of. They speak English in what? What? English, motherfucker. Do you speak it? Yeah. So you understand the words I'm saying to you? Yeah. Well, what I'm saying is that they are known knowns and that they gotta are make known unknowns, so serious. but also unknown Looking unknowns. crazy. Things we don't know that we don't know. What? what? <laughs> Say, that again. Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what one more time. Well, this is the apartment building where it all happened. Maybe someone saw something. Oh, somebody saw. From this point right here, <laughs> this is my favorite scene in all the Boondogs, bro. It's too funny. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, somebody see something. <laughs> Maybe someone saw something. Oh, somebody saw something, all right. Hey, slow down. We gotta be tactful. Tactful? What that mean? 
He talking about diplomacy. I don't do diplomacy. Yeah. <laughs> Raiden. <laughs> Got him running on feet. <laughs> He got him running on feet, walking him down. <laughs> Work him out. Work him out. Best start talking, fama. Hey, what do to you? Hold on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah nigga, run it. Run your shit. <laughs> <laughs> if these. If these two menaces slash goons come to sack slash Stockton, boy, y'all wouldn't last. I'm telling y'all right now. Oakland, too? Oh, yeah. Y'all be in the house. Come on. Ain't nobody <laughs> seen nothing. I know who did the killing. I've known for 20 minutes. Guy's name is Terrell Jackson. He's been bragging about it all day. On Everybody Facebook. knows. He lives five minutes away. I've got map quest directions right here. How'd you find all this out? We talk to people. I got a picture. Where you get that? I drew it from the description of the dude that they gave us while y'all was whooping niggas' asses in the street. <laughs> Almost had time to color it. Shit. Good work. Let's go. Okay. And then this Take is when the host and it's episode the goes night. off track. Where you going? You were supposed to turn right. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. You thirsty? <laughs> I could use a tasty beverage. Like this what? The the gas station ran up the street. We're down the street from the killer, and you want to stop and go get snacks? Relax. We stop, get this drink, then go get the killer. Simple. We just gonna get something to drink. It ain't gonna take long. We're right down the street. We know where he is. Chill. We just making a little detour. Relax. What could go wrong? <laughs> you know when you got a like, cotton mouth, bro? Like, thank God for this water. I'm over here. <laughs> high. It's on high. <laughs> the terrorist threat is on high. Now, look. <laughs> Ew. We just making a little detour. Relax. What could go wrong? <laughs> Toaster on high. <laughs> and then look how he looking at the TV. <laughs> and then look how he looking at the cop. And then look at they both look at the TV. <laughs> so he come off as friendly. <laughs> I love the boondogs, bro. This is too Watch funny. Me back. I got you front. Hey, the rummy is my close friends and allies. It is good to see you. Go put that in the truck. Hey, slow your roll, Chief. You guys have to pay first. Damn. Chill out, Aladdin Hussein. You know what I'm good for? It. Hey, guys, you know the rules. No exceptions. Cash only. Look. He got a weapon. Whoa, huh? wait a minute now. Put the gun down. Damn. Gun? What gun? I'm not holding gun. Guys, it's me, Ed. Your father helped me build this store. I don't know you, motherfucker. Now, put down the weapon. Put it down. There is no weapon. Look. Drop the weapon. I, I, I don't see a weapon. There is no weapon. They're robbing the store. <laughs> I am not holding a weapon. I am not holding a weapon. Officer and then the homies came out in the back from the you back and started getting what? cracking. Do you want to die? I, I don't want to die. He does not have a gun. He does have a gun, officer. Trust me. The absence of evidence is not the evidence of evidence. I don't see a gun. Man, fuck this shit. Whose side you on? Mine or this motherfucker who's obviously of terrorist descent? Wait. I think I can see the gun now. Good. Now we all see the weapon. <laughs> now you hand over that weapon on the count of three, or I swear to almighty God, I'll blow your fucking head off. One. I can't give you a weapon I'm not holding. <laughs> you think 
thinking of the Korean shop, not them here. Doom! Is he still holding it? He is not holding a weapon! Time's up! No. Oh my... <laughs> Unknown, unknown. Nothing to do with our original plan. Damn it, Ewan. Robbery etiquette says you can't criticize a robbery plan during the actual robbery. You have to wait till the robbery is over. Yo, officer. Or whatever your name is. My name's Frank. Okay, friends. Whatever. I want you to know you are not going to die. In vain. I don't think I'm dying. Oh. Well, I want you to know you wasn't mortally wounded in vain. Actually, I think I'm gonna make it. You hear that, you sweaty bastard? Freddy ain't dead. Freddy said, Freddy ain't bring dead. it on, bitch. Bring it! Two dual winding oozes. Crazy. And they haven't reloaded. A <laughs> hundred and fifty thousand rounds. Today, we all came face to face with our worst fears. And sometimes, there's no such thing as a happy ending. And there seems to be a gun battle with terrorists right behind me as we speak. Thomas Dubois, it's time. Time to go to prison. Is that the bus that's gonna take me to real butt pounding jail? No bus. You're free to go. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I thought something else was supposed the to happen Xbox after this. The killer struck again, less than an hour after we got to the mini mart. If we had gone straight to his house, we could have prevented it. But at least Tom seemed to have dodged the bullet. What the fuck y'all looking at? Hey, USA. 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 All right, come on. All right. Oh my god. Look none like him. Yo, look. Mm, mm, mm. Hit with the K in the other day. I come around spraying boy. Mm. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, bro. I'm out.